Welcome. <clears throat> Long time no see. Pressure power tanker. One of the um, first enjoyable smokes I've been able to have uh, as of recently because I have been busy. So, what am I enjoying? Well, I thought I might work on finishing this off. Before it dries out and goes bad. The other day I actually finished off the uh, Borkum Riff uh, Bourbon, I believe it was Bourbon Whiskey, which uh, that had uh, actually dried out quite a bit and wasn't that old. Maybe I should have jarred it, but it seems like every time I buy a pack, it comes perfect and within a week or two, it's dry, it's brittle. And that's when I'm smoking that on a regular basis. So, uh, pretty interesting that that's the one tobacco that when I find it and I buy it and I pick it up and the first couple smokes are enjoyable and then it quickly dries out after that, regardless of how quick uh, I'm going through it. And I'm smoking the velvet through this nice old uh, Meerschaum uh, you've probably seen this before. It is old as hell. It is dirty. Um, took some time to clean out the inside and clean out the stem, but uh, it's a nice little cool smoker and uh, thoroughly enjoy it for five dollars. Um, so why have I been gone? Uh, May 25th, my daughter was born and for those of you who have seen my previous videos, you know that that was already an ordeal beforehand because uh, she kept wanting to come early and she did. Uh, so before anybody thinks that anything bad happened, um, she's doing good. She's now 15 days old. Um, learning how to breathe on her own. They had, they, they took the vent out after a couple days and uh, with the CPAP she has been uh, she hasn't had to come off of it so she is learning to do things on her own and she's moving around quite a bit her eyes opened on my birthday so that was quite a surprise uh, quite a nice birthday gift and uh, She's a feisty little thing, so she's only one pound two ounces today. She was born at one pound six ounces, so she's lost a little bit of weight, which is to be expected. And uh, as for me, I am just trying to wind down here at the end of the night because it has been a long day. And I have a long day tomorrow. With it being Friday. So. I'm just trying to relax. As for book review. Hmm, what have I been reading? Well. The Hobbit. Again. For maybe the third or fourth time. And uh, why am I reading The Hobbit? Because I'm reading it to Zoe. So. Not exactly a book for a, you know, 10 to 15 day old, but something that she gets to hear my voice and I enjoy the story, I enjoy the characters. Um, it's one of those books that 
I think regardless of your overall age, grown men can enjoy it, children can enjoy it. Um, it's the start of something even greater than itself because it is the prelude to The Lord of the Rings. And uh, I just... Uh, they said that it was good for her to hear our voices and to uh, kind of learn who mommy and daddy are even at that young of an age. And uh, it, it's something that, you know, I can sit there for a half hour to an hour and plug through a couple chapters and um, hopefully she gets to know who I am. Uh, I mean, that's the ultimate goal, I guess. So, yeah, I've been reading The Hobbit. Um, been remembering, like, what the, the differences in between the movie and the book are. Um, several scenes. Uh, I, I was trying to picture how it went in my head after seeing the three movies. And I hadn't read it in so many years that when the movies came out... Um, I knew that there were characters that were added, like the the orc or the um, the, the goblin that is hunting the, after them. Like he's a made up character. The the elvish woman who falls in love with one of the uh, the dwarves um, wasn't in the original book. There's a lot of stuff that was added. So uh, not that I'm knocking the movies. Um, I, I think for for turning it into a movie, especially three movies that are as long as they are, um, adding the content really didn't take away from the story. So I, I was uh, it, it, reading it again this time more pleasantly surprised than I was expecting to be. So... Um, so I guess that's my take on The Hobbit, and Zoe's doing really good. Um, they're planning on her being at the hospital until September. So as for me doing these videos, it's going to be sporadic. Um, I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with it, if at all. Um, as for this, um, it's basically take it when you can get it. It's not exactly, uh, it's definitely more of a hobby now than um, a pastime or uh, I know some people think of it as a lifestyle. But um, right now I'm just trying to burn through a lot of the stuff that I opened a few weeks ago. Cause I don't really feel like jarring this up you know there's only maybe three four bowls left in here to to work through so I'm not gonna bother trying to do anything like that um, and it definitely wasn't worthwhile with the bork and ref um, this stuff Ooh. yeah this stuff just it dries out so damn quick and I don't know why uh, I could try jarring it I did that the first bag I bought mm, two or three months ago and it's still dried to shit so I don't get it not my uh, expertise on, on that uh, still working my way through the uh, mixture 79 which I guess it really just depends on my mood because there are certain days where I'm like, oh, this is really nice. And then there's other days where I'm, I feel like I'm an Avon meeting, <laughs> smelling a bunch of different perfumes and, and stuff. But, um, you know, it is just a nice relaxing smoke for the end of the day. Um, not something I'd probably smoke all the time. Um... As for the velvet, I'm actually having a hard time keeping this lit, so probably finish it off after this. Um, so one popular question that we get all the time, 
uh, referring to me and my girlfriend uh, is why Zoe was born born early. Um, have no idea. The doctors don't know. Uh, they did warn us that was a possibility with some some things that they found, but you know they were able to stop. The, the contractions the first time and we were at the hospital for four days and then she was discharged and same day we're back and boom we have a kid so um, overall they're saying she just was ready to come out and even at her small size and her young age um, and she's doing good so that's the upside. Um, we can just hope that she continues doing as good as she is. So, um, man, writing writing has not been taking place. Um, like I said, reading The Hobbit. There's definitely been doing a lot of reading, but when I when I do, it is to her. Um, not really any type of leisure reading my time <laughs> I, there's no such thing as my time anymore uh, I'm at work I'm at the hospital I sleep when I can I work I'm at the hospital I sleep when I can and uh, put that on repeat and that is my day so me making this video um, it's just kind of um, felt like doing it before going to bed and uh, trying to wind down for a bit <sighs> so that's about my life in a nutshell and uh, one thing I will add um, is that one of my previous videos I talked about the packs of Drexel that I ordered and one of them I forget which number it is but it's definitely a lot of Kia blonde um, that one's kind of like the uh, Borkin Riff where it's dry as hell. I threw it in a jar, hoping to find some way to add some a little bit of moisture back to it. The other two were fine. Um, I did get a flake. Uh, that was one of the Drexels I bought. There's another one that, with a lot of Virginias that was really nice and did a review on. Um, that one I threw in a jar. They're all jarred up, but that Latakia, um, kind of afraid to smoke it right now, so I'm going to see what I can do with, about that one. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, so I'm a dad, and things are going good. Hopefully, um, it'll stay that way, and there won't be any bad news in the future. Um, that's about it. So, anyways, um... Keep on keeping on.